Hi my beautiful bookish friends, I'm Bowen and welcome to my May reading vlog. I have no real plans for the month of May so I have no TBR, no actual like going outside and doing things kind of plans so I have no idea how this vlog is gonna go. So I will definitely be talking about books, I will definitely be reading books but other than that I guess uh, it's going to be a surprise for you, it's going to be a surprise for me, so uh, stick around and it's either going to be really boring or kind of fun. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. You're going to get the steering wheel in the shop, I'm afraid. So I want to film this update, but there is literally a person sat in the car that is directly in front of me. And um, yeah, this is weird. It's awkward. She's not really paying attention to me, so I'm hoping that like... It doesn't look that weird that I'm talking to myself. So I have had a really productive morning. I woke up at like four o'clock this morning. I broke down my reading chair. I emptied my shed. I did a tip run. And to reward myself from all of that, I went book shopping. And this is just literally full, full of books. Did I go overboard? Yeah, yeah, I did. But I went into the works and like, they're like a fiver or like three for six pound and there's people getting into the car next to me and now i feel awkward hi oh exclusive bonus chapter i did not know there was a bonus chapter so i'm gonna head home and i might listen to some more of my audiobooks i've only got like an hour of it left or um i might read a bit before bed because i have read every single day for like the past month and a half and i do not want to break that streak so i will see you again in a minute look at this belly look at this belly no so i am joined by this ball of fluff which is skinny i'm aware that both of my cats look very similar but that is technically because they are biologically related skitty is one of Lily's litter and she has been in the family since birth so she is a true Bowen and I'm going to try and do this update and not get distracted by how cute this entire ball of fluff is like look at this belly look at this cat belly no hey you so I'm in the process of reading Cursed by Marissa Meyer I did read Gilded in March um but I'm like I don't know if you can tell like this far in so I'm like this far in and I'm not loving this I just I'm kind of bored but I've read 150 pages of this today I think I'm stopping with this for today because um I don't want to read it no more I am going to pick it up again try reading a little bit more of it tomorrow um but right now one of the things i do want to pick up is this which is a witch's guide to fake dating a demon i picked this up on amazon the same day that i did my monumental bookshop book haul so that day i ended up buying 14 books well 15 really because one was a pre-order but like 14 books that i actually have now one's not coming out until I think October or something. It was uh, the new Hannah Grace book. I've still not read Icebreaker. I've pre-ordered the sequel because it's who I am as a person. Oh. Uh, Skitty. Babe. Skitty. Like, that's not a whole cat butt in the camera. She does that to me all the time. I need to do an, another book haul. The book haul was literally the last video I filmed and posted. But I'm going to get and I'm going to start this one. So I started this book. I'm now about 300 pages in. Hi, baby. So our main character, Muriel, in this, I knew five pages in I was going to love her. Because at the very start of this book, I think she's trying to summon a pixie sprite or something like that. She accidentally summons a chicken into her kitchen. <laughs> and then when she's trying to unsummon the chicken, like send it back from whence it came, she um, explodes 
the chicken instead. And I should not find it as funny as I do. <laughs> but oh my god, it's fucking comedy. <laughs> I love it. And Oz is just just such a grump. And like, he's not used to having a soul and having feelings. And I love him. <laughs> he's so sweet. I love him so much. And I have like maybe 70-ish pages left of this. I've put the second book of this series on my wish list. It's not out yet, but um, the second book does follow the two characters in this that I don't actually like so much, but I love the writing in this and the banter. I love books that can make me laugh and I have been laughing so much with this book. So I'm going to finish this today, I think. And then I'm either going to read a little bit more of Cursed, see if I can just get through it because like I don't want to be reading it anymore or I might pick up highly suspicious and unfairly cute or the wisteria society of lady scoundrels not sure which one yet I don't know where the vibes are going to be but I definitely the vibes are currently here and I'm loving it definitely recommend this one so cute. I think it's probably going to be like maybe a four star, maybe a 4.25 star, um, which is, is a high endorsement from me. Anything four stars plus is definitely a recommendation. So I'm going to get back to reading this one and I will let you know my final thoughts when I finish it. So I managed to finish A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon last night. I love this. I gave it a 4.5 stars. It's just so sweet and it's so fun. And I had such a good time reading this. So good. Go read it. It's great. And this morning, I finally finished Cursed. I I don't know what rating I'm going to give this yet. It's going to be between a 1 or a 2 star because, oh my god, I was so bored. I was so bored reading this. I pretty much skimmed the last, like, 200 pages. I just did not fucking care anymore. Like, the first book was mid. This book, I just couldn't bring myself to give a shit. So I finished it, which means it is another series that I have completed this year. Which, go me, but it wasn't It wasn't good. And I didn't have a good time. Why do I buy the pretty special editions for a book series that I've not read yet? I don't know. Because this is the, what, third special edition fairy loot series that I've read where I've really just ended up not liking it at all. The other ones were The Ember in the Ashes and The Midnight Lie. I didn't like either of those. I didn't really like this either. I spend my money in very irresponsible ways. I don't know which book I'm going to pick up next but I do have to leave for work in an hour so I'm probably just going to fill in my reading journal and then decide what else I'm going to pick up. Either tonight or tomorrow, I'm not sure yet. Depends on how I feel after my shift. But until then, I've finished two books. We've got one win and one loss. So I think I'm doing okay. The plan was I was going to read today. And to be fair, I did. I finished um, Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute today. And I was highly suspicious because it's a YA and I'm not really into YAs. But... It was unfairly cute. Hey, you see what I did there? Uh, I loved it. I gave it 4.75. It was chef's kiss. It was beautiful. I love Talia Herbert's writing. She is amazing. But I finished that this morning and I was going to pick up another book today. I was going to pick up um, some more of Skyward Flight, which is like a compendium of three novellas. I've got the first two on audio, which I've already listened to. So I've only got the last one left, which is like that much left. It's about 250 pages, which 250 pages is not a novella. That's a whole ass book. But like I have all this left that I wanted to finish or at least start this part today. But um, I was also going to give myself a pedicure today and then I stubbed my toe on a trolley while I was out grocery shopping. So my whole day went to shit, which is a dumb reason for your day to go to shit but like I had my heart set on doing that I also gave myself like a face mask this morning I was having like a self-care moment and then it all went to shit 
and I need to cut the grass in my garden but I can't do that because my lawnmower doesn't arrive until tomorrow because I broke my old one which is it's definitely a good thing that I got rid of that one because I was having to like flick it up towards me to throw it back out again with a spinning blade flicking it up towards my legs that does not sound like a good idea at all but I'm not known for my good ideas but when I came home from grocery shopping today I found this little note that came with because my friend Becca is great and comes with a little note that says, I know this is book two, but it's my favorite, so you need it. <laughs> Daddy Cade has the filthy mouth in such a sexy, grumpy sunshine, and I am officially sharing with him with you. Enjoy from Becca. And again, get you friends that will buy you books. Get you friends that will buy you flowers, because I have had my friends buy me flowers before when I went on Instagram and had a bit of a cry. So they bought me flowers because I was sad. My friends are excellent. <laughs> I have the best friends. My friends are great. Uh, I'm just... I was having a bad day, but like... Now, now, I, now I'm loving life, so... But like she said, this is the second book in the series. I have the first book in my 23 to read in 2023. So I want to read the first book first and then get to the second one because like I have to read them in order. I'm Virgo, it happens. So I have to read them in order. So I will be getting to that one, but I need to read the first one first. Um, I do want to read some more of this or at least start the next novella, which is Evershaw. I do need to get to this. And I do want to finish that over the next few days, but I have work tomorrow early. So I do have to get an early night tonight. I mean, don't get me wrong, my shift tomorrow is basically just sitting in the office for eight hours in case someone doesn't show up. But I still have to be there and I still have to be like ready, which means doing a full face of makeup at like 4.30 a.m. Love that for me. But while I'm at work, what I'm going to do instead is edit this video. I did finally get round to finishing Skyward Flight. I gave this one a 4.25. I read Cytonic last year and it was losing steam for me. I didn't rate it very highly at all. I think I gave it maybe a three star when the rest of the series is four star plus. This brought it back for me and got me really excited to read Defiant, which comes out in November, I think. I think it comes out in November. I'm just here really to tell you that I read another book in the month of May and it's June 3rd right now so I should have closed out this video days ago and I've just realised that I haven't done it when I went to go and upload the video so here I am. I have not really done a whole lot in the month of May like I read some books but this video is kind of dull and for that I'm sorry if you got this far into the video then um leave a star emoji in the comments but for now, thank you so much for stopping by. It's been lovely having you. And I hope to see you in another video coming very soon. Bye.